Hey guys, it's Sunday morning. <laughs> Guess what? It's pizza time! Oh my goodness. Let me get a better background for you guys. It's super loud. And I'm going to turn my volume down so you guys don't hear me repeating myself. But it's the easiest way for me to talk to chat. Good morning, Mega Terranova. Um, yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see this situation, but I definitely made pizza to hang out with you guys. Yes, it is 9 o'clock in the morning here in Central California. But I'll have pizza with you guys anyway. It might be afternoon, Mega Terranova, or evening, or... Time is irrelevant. So, um, I just kind of poked my head in here. I've never um, streamed or recorded a cooking simulator before, so I'm not really sure how any of this is going to work. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and we're going to start a new game. Um, yeah, I saw this um, where you could like. Um, it's like cooking simulator or, um, like house flipper where there's like the survival, like the survivalist thing and yeah. Anyway, so let's just hop in. Let's play some sandbox mode until we honestly know, uh, what we're doing because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I've played Cooking Simulator a few times. I mostly bought it because I wanted the Baking Simulator. <laughs> and I was terrible at it. So let's see how terrible we can be together. Alright. So, uh, yeah. So I know this is where we get, like, our groceries. Um, yeah. Um, okay, there's nothing in there. We got a large basic plate. On top of this other large basic plate. Mm, okay, so let's see. Pizza Pro dough. Let's do New York style. Um, we're going to need three and a half kilograms of universal flour. Is this universal flour? Do we have any universal flour? Okay. Do they have a floor mixer? Oh, good. So what was that? Like, okay. Nope, I'm not even pouring it in. Okay. Okay. It's a little, it's going to be a little dry. Sorry about that. I kind of have pizza, cream of tomato soup, and grilled cheese sandwich for lunch. That sounds delicious. Okay. And then... We need 2.3 milliliters of water. Uh, that's water. Uh, okay, so if you don't know, um, I actually, oh, that's a squeegee. Um, I used to work in a bakery and um, I got to use a gigantic floor mixer just like that one. Um, do I need to turn this on? Hmm, I need a vessel for water. Spelt flour, bread flour, universal flour. Ah, uh, it was already pre-measured? Uh-oh. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so there's a funny thing. Ah, look at that. <sighs> okay, you know what? That wasn't fair. Sorry, guys. I wish I would have realized that. 
We're gonna do uh, sandbox again. We're gonna do pizzeria again. I'm gonna have some pizza myself. So I used to work in a bakery and got to use one of those giant floor mixers myself. And they're kind of scary. Like you can definitely lose a hand using one of those. All right, I'm gonna have a slice of pizza and then we'll get back to it. All right, let's try this again. We are going to make a New York pizza. And the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make some New York style dough. We need five and a half kilograms of flour. Ah, it's just going. Oops. So I guess we're gonna have to put like 700 in now. Oh God, this is chaos. This game is chaos if you don't know. Yeah, when I first um, started um, in that bakery, um, I had come on just as, um, someone was leaving, they had to get, um, like reconstructive surgery, um, because they had dropped an offset spatula, um, Uh oh. They had dropped an offset um, spatula. Okay, 2.3, so we're going to do 4.6 now. Oh, this is, this is, uh, hey, giraffe, welcome to the stream. Um, I am making a terrible pizza. So, yeah. So, let's see. I also have my little baby pizza over here. Um, yeah. Okay, we've got parsley, mint. I think there's a basement that has like some stuff, but you would think that there would be some salt in here. But yeah, this lady dropped um, an offset spatula um, into a uh, table mounted mixer. And instead of turning off the mixer, thought that she could quick grab it. Don't do that. This is my professional advice to you. Don't do that. Ooh, cold things. Yeah. She already needed to have carpal tunnel surgery. And like... And then it was just worse. Because they had to... Reattach her fingers from the inside. Don't reach your hand into a mixer. Feel like feel like you shouldn't have to tell people this. Okay, I have no idea where the salt is. We might just buy some and hope for the best. 
You would think that there would be like a jar. Oh, maybe we didn't have salt. Hundred and fifty. Oh God! I just left a jug in there, like a nut. That—that that is unsanitary, guys. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Well, let's see what happens if we leave the jug in there. Uh oh, I think I broke it. I definitely broke it. Maybe I should do the tutorial. Papa Pepe's Pizzeria. All right. Um, it mostly just let me like push the red button. <coughs> I put red pepper in my pizza. That one was spicy. Let me try the tutorial and then we'll like go back and see if I'm any better at this. Well, I guess let's be bold. It was like my third time trying this. But at least everything is like, yeah. All right. Maybe before I put anything in the mixer, I should actually see if there's like a paddle I can use. Yeah. I guess it's not the kind that you can swap like the paddle for the whiskey thing. I have wipes for my fingers because I'm messy. So pretty much all the mixer lets me do is like, oh, it does have a trash button. So this time when I get the jug in stuck in there, okay. So let's try this again. I'll try not to break stuff. 
All right, 3.5 kilograms. I overdid it again. Oh, it. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I wasn't very good at this game the first couple times I tried it, so. Oh, it's because I threw so much of it on the floor. Also the fact that I got nervous and threw a whole bunch of it on the floor. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah! And then water, 2.5. I don't like how imprecise this jug situation is. Do you need to be Italian for this? Uh, maybe, and I'm not, so that might be the problem. I feel like 2.3 milliliters does not sound like a lot to me. Okay, well, or is that two point the music? I know, right? I'm really hope. Oh no, where else am I gonna put my water in? An electric grater. Um, oh, I can buy another jug. I would. Oh no. Uh, I would have been fired already. What am I doing? Um, because now I need to buy another jug. Like, this is not good. filled up as much as I can. The <laughs> simulator works exactly how you cook. Okay. We're going to pin this so I don't keep losing it. 
So two points. I assume that it wants leaders. Doesn't look like a. I'm out of water again. I am going to like, oh man, what are we doing? What am I doing? Also this jug doesn't hold a lot of water. I know you can play this game in VR, and I'm like, I can't imagine that would be any better. Um. Okay, whatever that is. It'll be a little stiff, it's fine. And I think we had to buy salt last time, because apparently the pizza shop doesn't have salt anywhere. 75 grams. Okay. Oh god, that it's like sandpaper in my ears. I'm sorry. Okay. Too much water, and not enough water, and a, just a shake too much yeast. Perfect. Or a shake too much salt. Um, 10 grams of yeast. It comes in a teeny tiny box. Now, I keep my yeast, like, in the fridge so it doesn't activate before I need to use it. Uh, butter... Yeast, yeah! Um, you mean like this? Hold on. I have one of these. I don't see a garbage can anywhere. We'll just put that here. Wait, is this a can? Yeah, but I can't use- wait. What if I have something in my hand? Can I use it then? Yeah! Bye bye, old bag. Oh, oh, it, look, it works as good as a real Swiffer! Yes! I'm guessing I'm gonna have to actually pick up these individual pieces. But, I don't know. You think we're gonna get an OSHA visit today? I hope not. Good thing there's a fire extinguisher on the wall. Okay, well, we have yeast. Teeny tiny box of yeast. And we need 10 grams of it. Oh, perfect. And then 90 milliliters of olive oil. Capers. Uh, no capers, please. We got some milk. Um, liquids. Can I have olive oil, please? Um, no. 90 milliliters. Okay. If you left the freezer top open, does it matter? I hope not. Oop. Okay, so it's going to be a well-lubricated uh, dough. Oh, we still need sugar. Um, I should probably close that, huh? Good call. 
I I'm pretty sure I'm still getting fired at the end of this day, though. That's a lot of cheese. You'd think that there would be, like... No sugar, but I did find marshmallows. No worries, guys. Do you think I can substitute? Dissolve in some water, get a little glucose. All right, 75. Oh, I like being able to adjust the amount. That's fairly new, or at least since I've played before. Yeah! Look at me go. Alright. And there are no further instructions. Mm. Safety first, guys. You gotta lower, the, lower it. I wonder if I can put those in the freezer. I made a little baby puck at the bottom. Alright. Let's not roll this out. Wait, do I need to flower the surface? Probably. Oh, there's advanced controls? Do I need to like put it in a bowl? Do I need to like leave it to rise somewhere? I don't know. I use something called a proofer. Oh, um you cut before or after proofing. Insert G and container. I don't know what I just did, but apparently I made homemade sauce and, like, literally nothing. Um, kind of don't want to roll out this dough. Uh, oh, Q, split portions. That's a small. should have done the tutorial. Oh, these are plates. That's the problem. Are these... No, those are plates too. 
throw. Nope, bitch. <laughs> it's just projectile. See, I assume that I needed to put this in like a proofer or something or a bowl. Automatic cutter. I'm gonna put that in there. I really thought that I could figure this out without, you know, the tutorial. I'm starting to wonder if the tutorial could even help me. Aw, oh, now I've done it. Got a sponge. Let's see what we can buy. Yeah, I thought it was like it could have been tossed too. Hmm. That's not it. Can we get one of these guys? No. This guy? A pizza peel. I learned that not that long ago. I have no idea. Can I pick up this? It won't let me use the thing. Uh oh. Now I've done it. I might have to use the tutorial. Oh god, no. I'm gonna have to follow directions. Okay, well we figured out that I sort of can make Well, we have figured out that I sort of know how to use the mixer. It's clear I've never worked in a pizza shop. All right, training begins. I need another wipey. Ha-ha! Uh, it says citrusy. I don't think that's citrus. Okay. Get the dough and place it on the board. Okay. Oh, I was putting it in the wrong spot. Oh. Hey. Okay. In a GN container. Need a GN container. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, 
Oh god, I w used way too much cheese. Oh well. Okay. Oh, we're gonna use, do some basils. Oh, we're gonna do some basils. Yeah. Oh, we gotta buy logs. Okay, so we gotta do this. Okay, so maybe I did need to do the tutorial first. Okay. Gotta get the pizza peel. Okay. Uh, the oven temperature lowers with time, so you need to pay attention to it. Right? Janessa, go get wood. We're making pizza. Oh, good. There's, like, a timer. In the other versions, you get, like, you can use a timer. Right. Great men are not born great. Hey, I did the thing. Do you guys want to try another one in tutorial or do you want to go into free mode and get weird with it? mode go for it okay sounds good I might actually try to do this box mode, pizza, well, now that I know where to put the dough, it also means we have to put ingredients in those little containers. Okay, maybe we can do that first. Buffalo mozzarella, feta, ricotta, fried egg, hard boiled egg, butter, yeast, what do we got? What kind of weird stuff are they putting on this pizza? 
smoked salmon, tuna, ricola, is that rose? I don't know what that is. Uh, let's go and we'll do, um, maybe I have to slice it first. What else is down here? Fontina, mozzarella, Taleggio, cheddar. I don't even know some of these cheeses and I really like cheese. Ooh, we got some green olives. I like green olives. Um, chickpeas, dried tomatoes. Oh, we have, we have, oh, we have some bell pepper. And t cherry tomatoes. Nah. Nice to have some big old tomatoes. Oh, aromas. Oh, that's the good stuff. I saw we have some porcini mushrooms. Okay. That's the processor. That's the grater. Here, if we can do this, can we put the... Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, look at us go. Got some, some shredded mozzarella. Let me put more than one vegetable in there. Mm. We have pepper strips. Whoa, wait. Goodness, guys, it goes on the other side. Wait, can I slice the olives too this way? That'd be cool. Oh my goodness, I can! We'll have to put that in the garbage can then.
Hmm. All right. So I guess we have to like put a whole bunch of stuff to like fill those containers. I know, right? Oops, I broke our mushroom. Oh, I left the freezer door open. Sorry guys, I'm apparently slowly killing the planet with my own workplace incompetence. Is there like pre-made sauce or do we need to make some sauce? Dried tomato. Interesting. Oh, we got like sausage, porchetta, mortadella, salami. Ooh, there's prosciutto. Oh. This is going to be one expensive pizza. Okay, let me get my basket and we'll put a whole bunch of cherry tomatoes. I think we actually need to make sauce. So let's come down here because we have that like cool. All right, let's look at the app. Sauces, marinara. So, okay, so we need Can we just, I want to put it away is what I want to do. If we call it artisan pizza, people will pay more. That is so true. It's not even funny. All right. So let's pin this and we're going to need 1.6 kilos of these. So we need like what, 16 tomatoes. Guy, I don't care about your customers. I just want to use your kitchen to make tomatoes. Something tells me that each one of those Roma tomatoes weighs more than one gram. Unless they're, I mean, like cherry tomatoes weigh like a gram or two, right? One more. And then garlic. Do we see strings of garlic? Yes. 
and we need four of these. Okay, it's a little heavy on the garlic. Maybe they're hollow, maybe. So then we need dried oregano. Okay, well we need I don't see any dried stuff. We need 25 grams. Ah, oh, close enough. Can I like dump the entire basket in here? Yeah, I can. And then I just need, oops, olive oil, right? I think I had to order olive oil last time. Okay. And two hundred. That might be the whole bottle, honestly. And then salt. Do we have the we had to buy salt last time, didn't we? What kitchen has capers but no salt? This is what I want to know. Okay. Guys, I made marinara sauce. Okay, so I remember that it's three point. All right, that was a little much, but that's okay. There we go. And then we're gonna unpin this. We're gonna go to New York dough. Oh, I only put 450 grams.
Um, let's like... Yeah! Uh, just like in real life, I'm not tall enough to do that correctly. Alright. And then... 2.3 liters of water. How many jugs will I break on the way? We'll find out. I fill it all the way. Oh my goodness. A uh, little bit too much water. All right. Um, salt, 75 grams. No. Nope. Where did we put the salt? Where did I put the salt? Okay, it is 75. Okay. All right, I've already messed up this kitchen, but not as bad as last time. Ooh, too much salt. Uh, yeast, olive oil, sugar. sugar? No. 75. Okay. Um, olive oil. Oops. You guys saw nothing. Okay. 90 milliliters. Hmm, 
96. It's close. And then we just need to get a cube of yeast. All right, I'm feeling really overconfident now. All right, close the lid. <gasps> no! Did I accidentally throw it all away? Uh, what? I'm not sure what I made then. to do that. Yeah, look at us go. Okay. It just needed more sauce. I don't like my pizza super saucy, but like, I don't, it needs to be kind of saucy. Okay. And then, we should have, I should have sliced more tomatoes. Better luck next time. Oh, that's cool. Um, we got some uh, porcini mushrooms. Again, did not slice enough mushroom. My bad. Guess I didn't. Oh my god. This prosciutto is so big. Alright, are we missing anything? Just the cheese, I think. Nice. All right. So I guess now we come over here. And we don't want to make it dangerously hot. Okay. We got our peel. doing all right all right guys for the next pizza start making a list of all your toppings and we'll see what we can find oh I have tea I forgot I even had tea
I guess people don't want just like a hot plate. Uh, nope, that's not, I did that last time too. Here, maybe we should just put it away. Oh, our pizza. Oops. All right. So what do you guys want to make? Any, uh, suggestions? What you guys would like to see on a pizza? I feel like if this was like the I don't know like the actual story mode you'd have to like make all your dough ahead of time garlic pepperoni all right so we're gonna need these guys shove one in there and um, just gonna throw a cherry tomato in there I think we're going to need more sauce. How are we on sauce? Actually, we're pretty good on sauce. All right. I think it might have actually destroyed the uh, container that was in there. Okay. So, pepperoni, huh? Let's find a pepperoni. Chorizo, pork sausage, salami, pepperoni. So we'll probably need more than one because it didn't seem like... I like pepperoni. Having some now. Okay. Okay, that should be good. That should cover a large pizza, I think. Trying to pull out all the empty ones. Um, what kind of cheese do you want? Should have brought my little basket. Did I like? I don't know what I just did. So what's the... Okay. 
feel like if we're doing garlic, we're gonna need some onion. Mots and parmesan, okay. I think we have two types of mozzarella. We have mozzarella and we have buffalo mozzarella. Let's try the buffalo mozzarella since we haven't done that yet. And then Parmesan. Oh, we get to use the grater this time. I really didn't make very much Parmesan. Oh my goodness. Um. Oh, look at all that garlic. Oh, that thing's gone to garbage. Okay. Okay. Yes. And then... Oh. <laughs> Wonder if we can. Is this what we put? Yeah, we'll slice the mozzarella. I like garlic too. Okay, I do like the option of just throwing it all in there. I have to say, so far of. Based on the base game and the DLC, I um, I think I like this the most, the pizza one. So far I've had fewer accidents, which might come as a surprise to you. Um, Alright, anything else on this? Are we looking pretty good? I literally can't pick that up. All right, so I guess we're gonna make it saucy. Okay, this is really cathartic. Okay. And then... I do like... Oh, I hope... Oh, I hope that's good. Alright, pepperonis. I'm probably doing this far too orderly, but uh, gotta have the even distribution, you know? Alright. I think that looks pretty good, and then... Oh, nice. 
Oh, you want black olives? All right. All right, I shall return with black olives. Um, cutter. The jar way. Get our GN container and Okay. Oh my goodness. I like the way they fall. Okay. And then I guess we should do the big pieces of Maz next. I don't know how many of you guys are familiar with Noobs Gaming, but there's um, a guy on their team, Simon, who's like a big food guy, and I feel like this would be right up his alley. I think I kind of want to grab the dried oregano from the next room. If it'll let me shake it on here. I don't know if it will. Oh, it won't. That's a bummer. It's probably because I didn't, like, chop it up and put it in a container. Hmm. Oh, well. Wow, that is quite the pizza, Mega Terranova. Let's, um, let's stoke our fire. I love that it's like a wood oven. We have made it dangerously hot. here. I think I'm putting enough wood in it that I don't have to worry too much. Get a big plate. Can I get a big plate? Actually, I was wondering. need to talk about that floor pizza.
All right. So maybe we should try one of the, uh, oh, I can throw these away. Okay. So we don't have like hot ceramic bits all over the floor. That's one thing I have to say living out here is you don't get like giant slices of like boardwalk pizza. If you've ever lived on the East Coast, I think you know what I mean. Like, the slices that are bigger than a dinner plate for no reason, they usually have, if they're good, they have like a charred bottom. And they're like greasy in all the right ways. I love it. We can even see outside. Nice. Okay, let's see what we get here. Ooh. Okay. Ricotta spinach. We have a Neapolitan style. All right. So double zero flour, which I believe is very fine. And then here, we will move our tray dough here. I think I saw more tray doughs, some dough trays, tray dough, dough si dough. We might actually have to buy one. Well, that's fine. We can get this started. Double zero bread. There we go. So 3.5, yeah. Smells good. Okay. 2.4 water. I'm bad at the water part. I don't even know where my jug is. There it is. Oh, apparently it still had water in it. All right, and that's a 2.4? Yeah. Oh God, ah! Okay, it kind of gave me a pass on that one. Okay, well, the game says it's okay, we'll believe it. 
This does not get olive oil or sugar. It does get 25, 125 grams of sugar and 10 grams of yeast. They say sugar, I mean salt. Okay. Okay, the game's telling me it's good enough. All right, and then we need 10 grams of yeast and we need to buy one of those buckets. You can do that right now. Dotre. I feel like I'm saying dotre. Like, um... Oh, perfect. A place to pour me. I was going to get really confused. Um, and then 10 grams. And since la dee was concerned that I was leaving the freezer door open, we'll make sure we don't do that this time. Okay. So what else do we need? Um, marinara sauce, which I, th do we have any more marinara? How much do we have? How much marinara sauce do we need? It's a medium, we should be fine. Okay, and then Okay, so one large makes a medium and a small. All right, so what else do we need? We need ricotta cheese grated and Parmesan cheese cut. All right. I feel like grated Parmesan or grated ricotta would be really messy. I think I have more yeah. And then we'll go get the Parmesan while that's grating. See, that doesn't sound healthy. I don't think it likes it. Didn't I see a GN container around here? Yes, yes I did. Okay, and then 14 grams of spinach and basil leaf. Okay. Spinach. Is it cold? Spinach. Fourteen grams. How much is this? Can we put this into a container? Okay. And then, oh, that's right. It did tell us that we can only put stuff like in these containers to use. And then we need fresh basil, right?
basil, and this says basil leaf. Are they different? Can I pull from here? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Hey, Starbreeze! Welcome to the stream. We're just uh, making some pizzas. So Neapolitan dough, marinara sauce, we have grated ricotta, okay, and then Parmesan cheese. Might wait for the Parmesan to the end. S is for herbs. Oh good, I was worried about not being able to use the basil leaf. Okay, and then we need spinach. Oh, I know. I'm really hoping it's not like copyrighted music. That's going to make me sad. I don't think so, though. I think it's pretty like, I don't know. This video comes out next week, though, and it's like just dead silence in the background. Yeah. And uh, at the beginning of the stream, I, in fact, did have some pizza. I made a cauliflower crust pizza. Um, with some cheese and red pepper. I think the game is telling me I've put too much stuff on this pizza. Okay, but I think we got it all. There's our Neapolitan pizza, marinara sauce, ricotta, parmesan, spinach, and basil. This sounds like an absolutely delicious pizza. And then we're going to stoke this fire. Maybe one more. Okay, it's silly hot now. All right. This, uh, we made uh, a couple like custom ones using like the free mode, but um, I'm gonna try a customer one. So far, I'm better at the pizza DLC than any other, like, thing in this game. Or maybe just because of doing, like, Twitch and stuff, I'm playing more games and I have more dexterity. I don't know. I should have prepared a plate before I got started, but here we are. Oh, I did prepare a plate. I was smart. Smart? Oh, that looks so good, guys. I, I think I want that. What is this called? Uh, ricotta ispanici. I mean, it's on the wrong plate. Shoot. There we go, that looks nicer.
<laughs> okay, so it took too long and I didn't put enough spinach on it. Okay. Oh, it was divided. It was spread unevenly. Okay. I'll take it. So do we want to make one more customer one or do we want to build our own? Here, let me pull up my little thing here. Um, right, these are perks. Um, so some of them let you see the recipes. Um, okay, so we can make sourdough, Neapolitan, we have that, spelt flour, and New York. So we've made two of the four kinds of dough. Then there's marinara, chocolate hazelnut sauce, Alfredo, pesto, barbecue, hummus, garlic ranch, Thai, buffalo sauce, or aioli. I don't know, guys. You want to try making a sourdough pizza? It's very, like, west coast. Oh, we need sourdough starter. We're going to have to order that, I think. I can throw my jar away. Okay, so we're gonna do a sourdough. Um, think about what else you might wanna put on here. Um, we'll put the, uh, uh oh. the jug over here by the water. Hey, at least I didn't break it this time. There we go. All right, so we're going to need sourdough, or we're going to need bread flour. And then two liters of water. All right. Might begin a, might be getting better at this measuring thing, guys. Oh no. No. I tipped it the wrong way. Okay, nice. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I spoke too soon. 
Okay, so we need like 800. Okay. And then a hundred grams of salt. That was a hundred, right? Yeah. All right, hundred grams of salt, three hundred milliliters of sourdough starter. Nope, I guess that's just what it is. Wait, it did say 300, right? Yep, it does say 300. That's a really tiny jar to put 300 milliliters of anything in it. This is like the never ending jar of like sourdough starter. My goodness. Oh, it only had 2.4, so we have to buy another one. And it says it's good enough. Okay. Well, let's not question the recipe. And then 90 or no, 100 this time. Oop. Nah, it's a little oily. I'm gonna order a new pan. Close the lid for safety. All right, so if we're doing sourdough, um, oh man, I feel like pesto is the way to go. Okay, we're gonna have to order some more olive oil because I don't think I have enough. All right, 800 milliliters of olive oil. Okay. And then 240 grams of fresh basil. Oh my god, it's so much basil. And I actually don't think there's a better way of doing this. 
Okay. And then 240. 500 grams of Parmesan cheese. It's asking for walnuts instead of pine nuts, but I actually don't know, like, three hundred grams of walnuts. Do we have nuts down here? Hazelnut, walnut. How many? 300. So not quite the whole jar. Is it 500? 500. this on my shelf over here? No, only bread could go on this shelf, apparently. Okay, and then 50 grams of garlic. Well, we have the salt right here. Sugar, salt. And then I don't think we have any black pepper. This this kitchen has like some weird stuff. I think is it ten grams? Five grams. It says for delivery. Goodness, right? I think it's 50 grams of garlic. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, hi! Well, thanks for coming and hanging out. We are making some pizza for lunch. Uh, so we have sourdough bread, and then um, we're going to make some uh, pesto sauce. What kind of toppings do you think we should have? There's literally everything. I think I might have to buy more containers. Okay, so let's stick this in the bottom and let's make our pesto. All 
right, do you guys want me to go down to the storeroom so you can see what kind of toppings there are? see here um well i guess we might as well make a big pre yes okay so we're gonna get set up for a big pizza and i'll move this cool rack thing to the other side so we have all the herbs up here um you can see over the bar we have parsley mint thyme dillweed rosemary and basil and then down here so in the refrigerator we have ricotta cheese mozzarella feta buffalo then of course there's like butter and yeast and eggs spinach i don't know what rucola is there's chicken breast smoked salmon tuna there's mussels vienna sausages ground lamb pulled pork um, boiled broccoli, boiled potato, ground beef, ground pork, squid, and shrimp. And then over here, oh, I bet that's like the drying unit. There is prosciutto, Italian sausage, pepperoni, salami, pork sausage, mortadella, uh, porchetta, and American sausage. And then we have cured uh tyrolean speck which i believe is like that really expensive like uh oh it keeps lagging oh i'm sorry um i know my app has been carrying on a little bit um hmm. i'm sorry uh let's see we have some pancetta bacon and uh, the other kind of prosciutto that's like more ham than bacon. And then of course we have some chocolate, milk, Parmesan. There's like literally all the cheeses. Maybe we'll do like, um, I don't know. We could do like Pecorino Romano. That'll go good with the pesto. And maybe some Fontina. Okay. Gorgonzola. Let's see here. Anchovies. Uh, caper berries, which I guess are just capers. Uh, two kinds of olives. Sweet corn. I don't but in the other one. There's other kinds of capers, so I don't know. Black beans, chickpeas, dried tomatoes. What do you guys think about putting some sun-dried tomatoes on here? Let's see. We got um, Marzano tomatoes, which I think are just like Romano's. We have porcini mushrooms, there's pineapple, there's marshmallow, which I guess if you're making like that dessert one, that kind of makes sense. Green onions, red onions, artichokes, asparagus, avocado, onion, yellow bell pepper. We have big containers of cherry tomatoes and garlic, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, banana, zucchini. I know like um oh anchovies okay or do we want to do like a, um like fresh seafood because we have like shrimp and squid and mussels hmm let's see eggplant hey welcome to the stream we're uh dressing up our uh pesto pizza 
So far we have sun-dried tomatoes and two kinds of cheese. Megator Nova suggested anchovies to go with the pesto, but we also have this entire freezer that has like all these like fresh seafood things. Got some peppers, olives, Uh, thanks for the follow, Chicken Wing. Alright. So what do we think about the meat part? I mean, we don't have to have meat on it, but... I don't know. I do like the idea of something fishy. So let's do the mussels. And the squid. And maybe some shrimp. Let me get like a seafood one. And we're doing that. Let's grab some more garlic. I wonder if it'll let us slice it. Here, I can say, tell in a second. Um, it, yes, it can be sliced, just not grated. All right. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead. You know what? I think we, let's grab some prosciutto. And we'll throw that in here too. I think that's going to give it that salty smokiness to go with everything else. All right. Running out of space here. Um, okie dokie. And then there's our pesto. Um, do we have to put these guys in containers? We do. Okay. So I'm going to have to buy some more containers. Oh my goodness. Expensive pizza. All right. Yeah, there was like a note from the head chef and he was like, you can't put anything on the pizza unless it's on in a GN container first. So we're just going to use all the GN containers. I don't even know how much these things cost. I think in like free play they don't have like a real value anyway. This was really fun today, guys. So, um... For anybody who was here for the Friday night stream, I mentioned that um, after this coming week, there's a big possibility that um, I will be moving the Friday stream to Sundays. Um, my job situation has changed. Um, it's a, it's, a, it's a positive move, but it means my work schedule is also changing. So, yeah. 
Well, we're filling up our little buffet over here, aren't we? I love this little thing that you like push through the wall. It's like, this is our prep kitchen. <gasps> no, I just threw a bunch of stuff on the floor. Did I lose a garlic? I lost a... Okay. I think I lost... Yep. All right, so this needs a container. Oh my gosh, everything needs a container. Oh, wait. Can I add both cheeses at the same time? That'd be fun. I cannot. I guess it's just gonna have to wait. And then another one of these. We're gonna throw the Fontina in here. And then already had that's parmesan that's parmesan I thought I had a container that had cut garlic in it hmm well there's our fontina I wonder if we can add more garlic to it oh we can we can actually top off containers we already have I guess. Okay, so this is like the coolest thing in the game so far. Also, I just realized that's a fresco. And then you just push it right through. So we've got our sourdough. That's gonna roll out. And then we have our pesto. We're gonna add some more pesto. Whee! Okay. And then, all right. Oh, we get the drop our squid. That's fun. So we've got our squid, we've got our mussels. Okay, I don't know about putting the whole shell on there. I thought it was gonna be like all scooped out. <laughs> and then we got our shrimps. I'm gonna squeeze those in between. Gosh, it's been a long time since I've had like a seafood pizza. And then we've got sun-dried tomatoes. I absolutely adore sun-dried tomatoes. We get tomatoes like pretty much all year round um, just because it's so warm in Southern California. Um, if I wasn't so lazy, I'd probably make them in the dehydrator more often. But yeah, they're super easy to make. Well, at least if you have a dehydrator or if you have a gas oven, it works pretty good too. I don't think electric does as good of a job. Okay. So I'm going to grab, how big are these pieces? Oh my gosh, these pieces are huge. I was kind of hoping they'd be like diced. Kind of like 
just sprinkling a little bacon on some shrimp scampi. This is not how that worked out. All right, and then we've got some of our cheese here. The game is clearly telling me I have put too much stuff on this pizza. Okay, so that was the Pecorino Romano, and then there's the Fontina. Oh my god, the slices are huge. <laughs> That's like just straight up putting like sandwich slices on a pizza. I mean, I guess it depends on the integrity of your dough. How can your, is your dough handling it? Um, I think, let's see, here's our cut garlic, we're just making it rain garlic here, and then let's grab some fresh basil, because we've already... I think I was supposed to hit W first. Yeah. No. S. Uh, little bits of basil. They're gonna make it. Oh my gosh, this pizza is just sheer chaos. I hope the game calculates for like the obvious like extra baking time required for this. Um, well, we're going for it. And this will be our, the last before the end of the stream. Here, we got some grated Parmesan. Just, oh my God. We got some green olives too. Ridiculous. Okay, let's let's fire this thing up. I hope the game calculates the extra bake time for something this ridiculous. Okay. Let's grab our peel. Oh my god, do you see how tall this thing is? I want to say that's unnecessary, but it's pizza, so it's fine. So while that's going, let's go get a, uh, we have a big, big plate. I love it. We're ready to go. Let's grab our pizza peel back. This is so fun, guys. I'm glad people came to hang out. Um, yeah. It's totally worth making pizza at 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh god, it's so big. Like, there's no way that was going to, like, fit. What did I just break? I mean, I heard the breaking sound, but I have no idea what I broke. Did I break the window? Mm -hmm. Alright guys, well, it looks like we have made some very interesting pizzas. Uh, we made a New York style with some peppers and prosciutto. Um, <laughs> we made Mega Terranova's uh, garlic pepperoni. And then finally, the sourdough pesto monstrosity that probably would cost my entire paycheck to make. <laughs> 
Wow. Well, you guys will have to let me know if you uh, would like to see maybe little hangout streams with these sim games again in the future. I know I had fun. It was very interesting. Um, and look at um, all this dough that I now have. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. I'm gonna pick the, I don't know why I'm ex going to exit the game shortly, but like, I feel the need to like clean up after myself. Look at all that dough. That's crazy. Well, let's go ahead and we're gonna call this pizza chaos. Alright guys, well thanks for hanging out. This is our first pizza party. I'm hoping that uh, there will also be like tea parties and, and all sorts of things in the future. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, so this week I am still streaming on Friday for our normal Friday night stream and I will let you know uh, when the stream will be moving to Sunday. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out. And as always, happy sipping.